Hey guys, this is Darren here from Running on Real Food and uh, I'm just about to make some oat milk and I thought you might like to see how to do that. It's so easy to make, you need just five minutes and basically one ingredient plus water. Um, this milk you can store it in the fridge up to five days and use it in things like coffee, smoothies, cereal, drink it, you can use it in pancakes and baking um, and it tastes great. So all you'll need to make it is oats, one cup of oats, and water. I use three and a half cups. It doesn't have to be exact, somewhere between three and four cups is perfect. Um, now most people do sweeten it, so you might need a couple more ingredients depending on your taste. I leave it plain because I mainly just use it in smoothies, cereal, and coffee, and I don't really find that it needs any extra sweetening, but it is fairly plain on its own. Um, for sweetening, you can do a couple dates. You can do one to two tablespoons of maple syrup. Um, some people like to add vanilla as well, so you can do like one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Um, a little pinch of cinnamon is nice in, in this as well, and um, sometimes a little pinch of salt. But most of the time, I just use it, leave it plain, and it's perfect. Now you're also gonna need something to strain it. So I use one of these, this is a nut milk bag, the <laughs> best name ever, and um, you can get these on Amazon, or some stores carry them depending on where you live. They're a lot more common than <laughs> when, um, than a few years ago. Um, I remember going into Astro one of these probably 10 years ago and they had no idea what I was talking about and just asking for a nut milk bag was kind of funny, but a lot more people know what they are now. <laughs> uh, if you don't have one, you can use a t-shirt, cheesecloth, um, even a coffee filter would work. Okay, so I think that's all you need to know. I'll just flip you around and show you how to make it, strain it, and then that's it. And then also I'm gonna froth some for some coffee, so I'll show you that as well. Okay, see you in a sec. All right guys, let's go ahead and make this oat milk. So, you've got your one cup oats here. Go ahead and add that in. Go ahead and add the water in. Put the lid on. And now we're gonna blend. So you wanna let it blend about one minute. Over blending will make it a little bit slimy, so just be careful you don't let it go for too long. So right off the blender, you can see how it looks. Um, it's actually quite smooth, thick, and creamy. But we're gonna go ahead and strain it. So in order to strain it, we're just gonna take our bag here tuck it in there and pour. It's actually better to do this into a bowl and then pour it into the mason jar because it's a little bit messy this way. So you can see it is really smooth, um, quite thick and nice and creamy. Now this stuff, the pulp, you can use this um, for baking. Um, you can put it in smoothies, uh, just make some cookies out of it, or you can just discard it, it's up to you. Um, I usually do hang on to it and use it for something or other. Okay, so I've got my beautiful jar of milk and I'm gonna make a cup of coffee and add some frothed oat milk to it. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I've got my coffee here, and I'm gonna go ahead and pour a little in. And I've got this guy. Delicious oat milk latte. Kind of. <laughs> so this could go in the fridge for five days and um, you, it will separate a little bit as it sits in the fridge, no big deal, just give it a shake before you use it. Um, 
like I said, it is quite plain without sweetener, so you probably want to go with a couple dates or some maple syrup just to give it a bit of flavor. Um, otherwise, it just tastes like <laughs> plain oats. But it does work beautifully in smoothies and coffee and stuff like that. So yeah, let me know if you give oat milk a try. So easy.